This is Tim Apichel with Think Tech Hawaii, and today we're here with Michael. And Michael, our subject today is road rage. And my question to you is, have you seen or experienced road rage here on our, our, our roadways or highway? Unfortunately, yes. Um, I, I live out on the west side on the, of the island, and I drive um, back and forth daily. And um, it's, it's, uh, it, can be, it can be challenging, particularly when you have um, drivers who are aggressive, um, and other drivers who um, aren't polite and letting people in. When you see this on the roadway, are you are you subject to the the commute, the the, the hour and a half, two hour commute to get into town? Well, you know, uh, fortunately with, with with the career that I have, I, I can come in slightly on the on the tail end of things and leave on the tail end of things. So um, it, it's a little more civil. But um, on the weekends, I, I, I have a have a singing group uh, that I I. I I sing with and having to get from you know event to event right. that's when I see it mostly what sort of things are you seeing on the roadway um, it seems like the incidence for road rage is increasing in fact I don't know if you know this or not but um, there is a informal survey nationwide survey on um, one of the social media uh, sites it. and Hawaii is the number one state would that surprise you uh, no it would not um, when I when I'm when I'm coming home, like late at night, sometimes uh, um, either from work or from you know from singing, uh, some of the guys that are racing down the highway and, and uh, people who are um, a little inebriated that um, are on the highways and um, those things all add to it. Uh, well, what kind of things are you seeing? I mean, you know, you see them directed at other people, or have you ever been involved? With uh, some of these events, well, of course, you know, if you, if you drive long enough, you you certainly are. And and what I try to do is I try to just say, hey, you know, God bless you, you know, and and just let them in and let's let them go ahead. I, my thing is I just don't want them to take me with them when when they when they have a bad accident, or you know, I'm not going to get into a, a, a beef with somebody, you know, for, for driving. If there if you were the recipient of road rage, would you know what to do? Because there's there's kind of a hierarchy of things to do and not do when you are the recipient of someone's rage would you happen to know what those would be i don't but normally what i do is i just uh, you know i just tell them hey go right ahead mm -hmm. uh, you know and and i just you know just try to de-escalate de the situation not adding to it and if they they want to drive close or stuff like that you know what i normally do is i i just either take a different route or you know if if, if, if it's really bad uh, there was one. There was one time when I was coming from Kaneohe and I was going over the H3, and this uh, this guy was just really tail tailgating me for for some, for some reason. Um, what I what I did was I, I held up my phone and and just and just showed him that I was, you know, calling calling the uh, calling the authorities, and then he sped off and, and left. But um, if it was just really bad, I just I would just call nine one one and and tell tell them where I am and what's going on, and or, or the you know drive to the nearest police station. If you had any advice for someone who was, you know, either tailgating or, you know, trying to cut in for traffic, what, what advice would you give them uh, for these people that do this? I mean, I'm sure it's not all because someone's inebriated. It's, you know, either they're rushed for time or yeah. they're just angry or they're just emotionally uh, upset. Day. So you ever have any advice for, for someone? Well, what I would say is just, just, just let them in. Let them go ahead. It's not worth it. Mm -hmm. And just, just, you know, just to tell them, hey, God bless you. You know, just let's let them in. And anytime I see somebody coming up behind me, I try to get out of the way, let them go. You know, um, the only thing that really gets me is when somebody cuts me off and, and puts me in danger. Right. You know, that's the only thing that really gets me. Yeah. Um, but what I try to do is just let them let them go on and do their thing. It's not it really. It's really. It really isn't worth it. That's good. Good philosophy. Well, one of the experts here in Hawaii, who's a professor at Manoa, uh, U of H Manoa, says that not only do you think about the person that's driving, but also their family Absolutely. and their friends. Yes. And if if drivers and uh, of, of both parties remember that, um, that can go a long way. That's right. And I, that's what I think about too. And I, I just said I, I, it's not worth it. I, I'm not going to hurt myself or hurt somebody else out here on the highway. And so I, that's what I try to do. Well, that's good thinking, Michael, and I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with us. And I'm Tim Apichel. This is Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha.